doing great, man. How you fellas? I'm doing, doing great. great. I'm happy that you uh, that you came in this uh, this week. I know last week you said there just was nothing bothering him. I'm not sure I'm a fan of the medication cocktail he's on. <laughs> it's really screwing up the show. <laughs> Sorry about that. You know, bumming people out on a Friday. Man, last week we're like, oh man, what happened to Donnie? Like, just not, nothing bothering him this week. But I see he's the armed first. with uh, many pages of notes. He is. Donnie, uh, you ready to go? Oh, let's do this, man. All right, let's Without go. further ado. Time for Donnie Fandango's Week in Rage. Less of a battle raging in Donnie these days. I mean, well, he seems to be a, a happier guy. Yeah, but there's still a battle. There don't, is. Don't, don't no get that of, twisted. No amount of medication could cure what yeah. this guy I mean, has. I mean, his shrink's going to be eating good for a long time. <laughs> <laughs> no end in sight. But we do the have the Donnie Fandango on. Week in Rage where we give Donnie an opportunity just to kind of speak his mind, whatever's pissing him off. Just kind of clear the air so Donnie has a better weekend and, more importantly, so nobody around here gets hurt when Donnie eventually flips one day. That's the most important thing. <laughs> it's like letting the pressure out a little bit at a time. So, you know, you don't want that big earthquake. You uh, want those little tremors now and then so it just doesn't bottle all up and all of a sudden destroy everybody. It alleviates the stress. Donnie Fandango Week in Rage being brought to you by... Supplement Superstore is not just a store, it's an education. All right, Donnie, what's bugging you this week, Kyle? All right, the first thing that I have is an actual story that didn't happen to me but happened to Mary where she had to call the police. Mary was getting tattoos a couple of weeks ago uh, at a tattoo parlor and there was another lady that was in the tattoo parlor getting a tattoo as well. She, while she was getting a tattoo, had left her nine-month-old baby in the car no. <laughs> when it was like 25 degrees outside. No. So Mary, obviously, it's a combination of bitch be tripping and headline hooge, oh, like yeah, all totally. rolled into one. Oh yeah. So before Mary was done, she called the police. Because Mary approached the woman? And, and said, yes, it's too cold for your baby to be outside in the car. And she said, her response was, the baby is wrapped up. She'll be just fine. Paging common sense. Oh Unbelievable. So Mary didn't see what happened like after the fact because she was almost done and was done before the you know the police showed up or whatever. But just the simple fact that those people or that woman has reproduced, that kid's got no chance. Bitches be crazy. I mean, just unbelievable. I mean, it, it was like 20-something degrees outside when she did it. So again, a combination of bitch be tripping and headline hooge. <laughs> <laughs> the audio from when the cops showed up. I hate it when chicks talk in a baby voice because they think it's cute. Oh, oh, it's so annoying. That might be one of the most annoying things in the world, and it's not in the least bit hot at all. Uh, the uh, mini hair in a mohawk thing needs to be done. What is please? It? The you know where where you just have the. Is it a faux hawk? The faux hawk. Yeah, it is. It's the faux hawk, man. The faux hawk. It's so got to be over. You push a regular haircut up into the middle with hair products to make it look like a. A mohawk. A mohawk. It's mohawk. been going on for so long now. Yeah. It's got to be done. I'm no fashion expert <laughs> or consultant, but I uh, emceed a trivia night the other night, and there were so many douches that had this particular haircut. It drove me nuts, and they all just look like douches. Why is it that everybody with a mohawk is also like a meathead, like, you know, like bodybuilder kind of guy? Yeah. The days of the mohawk being for punk rockers are long <laughs> gone, man. Yeah, it's either like a real skinny meth-looking Hoosier, or it's like a giant bodybuilder guy. <laughs> That's right, man. That's right. Or a little kid. All right, a couple more things here in the weekend rage. Kids too. I hate the commercial where the kids are in the car and they do Crazy Train. You know what I'm talking about? I don't remember exactly. Oh, yeah. I yeah. don't exactly remember, but wow, wow. Wah, wah, wah. It drives me freaking crazy every time I see that. that. Oh, it's some car commercial. Yeah. I don't know who it's for. I'm sure it's a great automobile, but commercial drives me nuts. Yeah, my wife always says, 
Yeah, because a bunch of like eight and nine year olds are going to be very familiar with Ozzy Osbourne. And they're going to be able to break it down right. in order to do it like that in the car. It reminds me of uh, remember that scene in Step Brothers where they're in the car and they're singing. They're all singing like "Sweet Child of Mine." Yeah, yeah, same kind of thing. All right, couple more things here. Cool and the Gang opening for Van Halen. What in the world is that about? I do not want to hear Celebration <laughs> the same night that I hear Panama. I just don't. <laughs> I absolutely don't. And that's yeah, nothing against that Cool and the Gang as well. That's not too great taste. It tastes great together. Final thing in what's the point. This is a text that I received on Tuesday, uh-uh. five nineteen in the PM, did right you, after I got done playing. What's the point? Did you ban him? Da- oh no, 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 no ban hammer for this one. This one was just too funny to uh, to to do it. Donnie, been playing. What's the point for a long time? I knew the answer, but I've never gotten anything but a busy signal. F you and have a nice day. <laughs> there's there's two here. There's one that was done at two fifty uh, two days ago. You banned somebody from the five seven three. Mm-hmm. You remember what that was about? Yes. Who's uh, that guy? That guy was <laughs> ju- that guy. Just every t- text that he sent, it got more and more hateful about me. Okay. And I think the final <laughs> one was something about having something to do with my dog. Like it was just really, really profane. And then he went, Ban. And I was just like, yes. Ban. Ban hammer. I wanna be the Ban hammer. Yep. Very good. So uh, with that text, ladies and gentlemen, that is my week in rage. Thank you for letting me vent. How you feeling there, Donnie? Feeling awesome. I'm glad we could help.